morning you guys welcome back to my channel it is 7 a.m and we are on our way to the gym matt and i typically i work out earlier i prefer to at least and then matt works out after work but today he's like a little bit late ever start at work so he's gonna come with me to the gym we're gonna go to alpha land and i think i'm gonna do upper body day i want to get my uh, arms a little stronger um, and looking just great in my wedding dress. So, I'm really tired this morning. It is Thursday. I just posted an hour long vlog last night. So, if you haven't seen that, go watch it. It's got a lot of stuff. It's a weekend in my life. I had like three grocery hauls in it, which is just like absurd. <laughs> so nice in the morning here because no one is here. Hi Matt. That's Matt's car. Just got to the gym. It is so empty in the morning. I love coming here early because otherwise it's packed with people just like filming and obviously as I'm filming but tripods and stuff. Windows are so dirty. It's pollen season here in Houston and it's horrible like horrible there's just like a yellow cast on like everything all right let's go work out upper body day <sighs> It is definitely giving like North Shore mom. I'm gonna go. <laughs> School drop off. I'm dying. But this Walmart low key nice. Okay, I'll show you my cart really quick. If you guys are on the same TikTok as me, you know that everyone is talking about mango sorbet in a fruit roll ups. I haven't bought a fruit roll up, I don't know in how long, but I mean, I love mangoes clearly. Buying a bunch of fresh ones are my favorite fruit. So this is like right up my alley. I'm just gonna try that with this. Apparently it's supposed to like harden up the fruit roll up and it's really crunchy. I'll show you when we taste test it. Got some more flavors of Olipop. Never tried this one or this, so I'm excited. And then just some restocks. I love snacking on carrots and some bananas. Now we're in the clothing section because I've been seeing some fun items on, once again, a TikTok for clothing and home. So I'm just kind of taking a gander and seeing what we can find. Oh my god, these are like giving Reebok vibes. How cute. Actually really cute. Then the men's section. They got some cute shoes. Oh, lovely. I don't know, Walmart is stepping up, you guys. If you have not heard yet. Let's see what they got in the clothes. Oh my god, these little girl clothes. Wait, this is also fun. Look at the new trolls. Oh, stop. All of these. Oh my god, I want these for my niece. Oh my god, wait. Look at the little quilted jacket. Oh. You guys, run to Walmart. They have such cute pots in the garden center. Look at these, they have a cute tree. All of this stuff is so cute. Love it. I just got back from Walmart and I kind of showed you a little bit in my cart from my clip on my phone, but I'll just show you the final. So I got a little car snack, you guys know the drill. I need to be snacking on something while I'm driving um, or drinking a fun drink or chewing gum. I don't know what it is, I just need like constant entertainment. <laughs> So I got a big ass bag of carrots, I already ate like a good amount of them. They're just an easy snack when I'm driving. Then I got some nanners. Matt loves to put these in his oatmeal and then I just like eating them. I also, oh, I forgot to get. <laughs> the reason I went there is because I, on my TikTok I said I was gonna show you guys how I make my protein mini pies with my little graham cracker crusts. 
I need to get sugar-free jello or pudding mix and I completely forgot. Ugh. Don't you hate that? You like go somewhere for one thing and then you just get so distracted. Well, what I got distracted with was the fruit roll-up mango sorbet combo. So basically you unwrap a fruit roll-up and then you place some sorbet in the middle. Then you roll it around, kind of like a burrito. And then the ice cream is going to harden the fruit roll-up and it's going to be a crunch. Like, ugh. And I love mango anything. And I love fruit, fruit roll-up. So any excuse to buy a fruit roll-up, I'm there. Then I got a crap ton of mangoes. I think I got like six of them because I just love mangoes. You guys you know the drill. And then things I didn't need but I got anyway. Two new flavors of Olipop because I was... Because of course I was curious. Do I need these? No. No, no, no. If you saw my last video, I got a, a lot of them from Whole Foods. But here we are again. So that is what I got. All right, we are going to go in. And I don't know, let's see if Sarah's awake because let me go baby watch the new Love Island. It's the, the movie night one. If you know, you know. Who else is watching Love Island UK? I feel like I wanna talk about it more. Let me know. Okay, I'm also just gonna show you my car right now because it is pollen season and you can see it's covered by this like yellow pollen and it's not gonna get better anytime soon. I got a 2021 Volkswagen Tiguan in white. I got it from CarMax, so it was used. Um, all black interior, so sleek, it has a touch screen, which is dirty right now. But you guys, I love it. I'm so spoiled already with it. Like I um, have a backup camera. If you guys didn't know, my last car was a 2020, wait, 2010 Jeep Liberty and it had no bells and whistles. So here is the back for you guys. Again, covered in pollen, so ignore that. You see the yellow? That's everywhere. Everywhere, all over. Um, but I, I'm obsessed with it. My old car, I literally had to get a new car at the end of last year because my old car died while I was driving on the highway, which is not safe. But I'm very happy. Um, it's a used car, but the guy who had it before me, it had one other owner, and he was a... He worked at like a de the dealership, so he treated it really, really well. It also has like tinted windows. I don't know if you can tell, like they're slightly tinted, but that's really nice because the seats are leather and in Texas, it gets really hot in the summer. So it's nice that it won't get super hot. Plus I like the privacy. Come on you guys, it is Friday morning. I coached the 6 a.m., 7 a.m. and 45 class. Now I'm gonna go work out, but I don't know what I wanna do. I'm deciding if I want to do Pilates, if I want to just go to the normal gym, or if I want to do the F45 class, because it was good. I don't know. Um, I'm wearing this Lavavi little sports bra. It's like their six in one. It's reversible. Um, and you can wear it like this way, like backwards, forwards, twist it. Um, I can't wear it this way though, because my boobs are just too much. And then my leggings are Amazon. These are my favorite leggings ever. Buttery soft, super flattering with the V cut. And I just love them. I haven't been red as well. I wore my last vlog. But it's a Friday. We have a fun weekend. We're going to another rodeo show tomorrow. I think we're going to smoke some salmon tonight. I shared on my Instagram and my TikTok my salmon, like Nobu miso glazed salmon recipe it's like a copycat nobu recipe it's so good so check that out we're gonna i have some leftover fillets so we're just gonna use those and then we went make a bonfire tonight it's a fun fun day for breakfast i'm having a cup of greek non-fat yogurt I'm just having the rest of these berries i just defrosted them so i had those i loved using frozen berries in yogurt bowls because look at this like melts and just flavors the yogurt it's so good i'm gonna add some hemp hearts coconut shreds and then this banana it's gonna be my breakfast you can also add some stevia or monk fruit or cinnamon here's the final product so good the frozen fruit melts and gives off that like flavored liquid it's so good i don't know how this happened but we're outside of trader joe's don't shoot the messenger 
I need one thing. I need liquid stevia. And I've just been sitting in my car for the past 15 minutes trying to talk myself into just getting liquid stevia. Like there, there is literally nothing else we need that I can think of. And I, I've never doubted myself so much as I do right now. I don't know, I'm scared. Do we think I can do it? You know that song, my mind's telling me no. <laughs> but my body <laughs> is telling me yes. <laughs> okay, before you say anything, I failed, kind of. Technically I was gonna fail from the beginning from just getting one thing because I got two stevia. So at that moment I should have known, but <laughs> I still did it. I got two stevias and then I only got one other item. I literally didn't get a basket, didn't get, not even a handheld basket, not a cart. I just was like, I'm gonna hold this in my hand because I know if I give myself the option, I will fill it. This, I've never seen these before. Trader Joe's, Papa Dums. <laughs> Lentil and chickpea crisps. The ingredients are lentils, chickpeas, rice bran, baking soda, cumin, and salt. If you are curious, because I know I'll get asked, there you go. Let's do a taste test, shall we? Crispy bite-sized flatbreads made from legumes and traditionally flavored with cumin papadums are found throughout the Indian subcontinent. They are a perfect accompaniment to serve with dips to tzatziki and hummus and add plenty of gluten-free crunch when added to salad as a stand-in for croutons. My mouth is watering. Okay, give me one second. Okay, update. These are clearly really good because I've just been snacking on them and I completely forgot to show you guys. This is what they look like. They're good, listen. It's like a mix between them. A little rice cracker, the little circle rice crackers, a tortilla chip, and if you're Catholic, kind of like a host. And that might be controversial. But it's like airy. These are so good. Put that back there. I actually just signed up for a Pilates class, so. A Pilates class, Pilates. But I'm getting my eyebrows done first. <coughs> it's 2.07. I have an eyebrow appointment at 2.45. So, I'm gonna head that way. Then my Pilates is at 4.30. And then we'll be reunited with the fam and see what's up. Alright, I look insane. I just got my eyebrows tinted. I mean, they fade. So, and I also have no makeup on. They look crazy the first day. So just don't let that alarm you. Um, I am on my way home and it's the end of the day. It was a good day. It's the end of the day. I was going to go to a Pilates class, but the Pilates class was supposed to start at 4.30 and it's 4.40 right now. So I went a little over. That's okay, I won't work out today, which is not a big deal. I also realized I can't sweat after I get my eyes laminated, so I got my eyes, my eyebrows laminated, waxed, and tinted, so love them. I go to, what is their name? I go to the cutest, they're like a little husband and wife duo in Houston. Um, this is them. If you guys wanna support them. My eyebrows will fade, so just don't don't get it crazy. But it'll look better when I have makeup on. I promise. Okay. We are home. <laughs> <laughs> Matt's going to the gym. I can't sweat because my eyebrows. No, 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 no. This is the salmon. <laughs> if you know that's from. What you gonna do about eyebrows? Wait, you <laughs> um, okay, I'm just gonna cook one because Matt's gonna smoke the rest, but he's going to the gym and I'm starving, so I'm just gonna pop one. I'm gonna use a spoon. Don't look at our dish. Oh, Woo! This is the truth. Our house is a mess. Our house is disgusting. Disgusting. It's like a frat house all of a sudden. Okay, and I'm gonna pop this in broil and I put the oven rack all the way to the top. Why? So it's close. And I put it in for 
like eight minutes, depending on your likeness of done salmon and your oven. Everyone's different, so just watch it. But I put it close to the top rack so it gets crispy on the outside without overcooking too much. Salmon, look how crispy. Mm. Zero! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, they're spot on. Alright, fucking sue or someone. Let's go. Oh yeah. They need they need They're like who do we Who do we need to humble? You guys we are doing it. I'm gonna spray Sarah. <laughs> Crazy. Okay, the tan went really well. Obviously, I did not show show it, but we are gonna go out to the backyard and have a little bonfire, maybe. Just hang out. It is like 11 p.m. and I have to work tomorrow morning, coach the morning class, but just hanging out. <sighs> But you're like, holding your sleeve, look like you're holding a cigar. I was like, damn, Sarah, okay. Yeah, you know me. <laughs> Guys, my eyebrows are still so dark. So scary, it looks like I drew them on with Sharpie. I just got back from coaching. At 45, Saturday. And I just made some lunch. I had the last piece of my Nobu copycat salmon recipe on my Instagram and TikTok and just some edamame. I get the frozen one from Costco and just microwave it so easy. I mean, honestly, this is like my favorite meal as of late. It's so good. If you guys haven't tried it, it's so easy. The recipe is written out like underneath the Instagram post on my page, so. Today is Saturday, like I said, we are going to the rodeo. So I have to pick out another outfit for that. And it's seven minutes under broil. So good. I don't really know what I'm gonna wear. It's really hot here. Oh, I actually literally did get some stuff from Princess Polly. I bought some like flowy dresses. If you guys remember from my rodeo last year, I also wore it already for the rodeo once. This year, I'll put a picture here. Um, this romper that everyone loved from Princess Polly. And my discount code is still active, so if you guys want this, or my asymmetric jeans that all of you guys love, you can use Blair20 for 20% off. I bought some cute little rodeo outfits, potentially. I also got some bridal stuff. Because we're in the era of bridal now. I put flaky sea salt, like my molten salt, on my edamame. Mm. I love this stuff. That's fine, I'm gonna finish eating this. Okay, you guys, I am ready for the rodeo. I just did my makeup. My eyebrows are still so dark, but it's okay. And this cutie little shirt from Princess Polly. It says howdy. And then I don't know where these shorts are from. Let me lower you down. These shorts, I think are Zara. And then Princess Polly white boots. Love it. I also crimp my hair with the three barrel wand um, from Amazon. It's really affordable. I will link it to my storefront, but that is the look. I wish my eyebrows were not so dark, but they're gonna fade. And then I'm also gonna just put a cowboy hat on because it's sunny. I did my hair half up, half down. Final fit. <laughs> A little bit. Cute. My it's the next day, Sunday. I'm about to go to the Humane Society and go walk some dogs. I like to volunteer there once a week, typically on Sundays. Um, and we just give walks to the shelter dogs. And it's a really nice way 
for me to still be involved in the volunteer world. You guys know I've fostered for years. I've always been really volunteer oriented when it comes to um, dogs, always adopting everything. And it's also just a nice way for me to get outside and it's been helping me like internally with the passing of Herman and just kind of getting back out there with dogs and um, just feeling like I'm able to give back a little bit um, without having my own dog because I'm not emotionally ready for that yet. So it's just a nice way for me to still be able to give back. So let's go walk some doggos. They're so cute. Just got to the Humane Society. I have my little leash, got some bags. And let's go walk some pups. I'm gonna vlog on my phone because I don't wanna bring my camera in because these dogs are, how do you say, very excited to see us when we go into their kennel because they're in their kennel all day. So they jump and it's a big thing. I got my handy dandy fanny pack. And if you guys are ever curious um, about how I volunteer or anything like that, you can either DM me or comment or, I don't know, just reach out. I would love to chat about it. Good girl. <laughs> Good girl. Can I? Oh, <laughs> thank you. I love it too. When you sit like that. Okay, we need to do this. Oh. Good girl. That's all I have. That's all I have. It's the feats for me. Go, go. <laughs> okay. I just got back from the Humane Society and whew, it's hot one. Guys, one of my favorite dogs is still here. And I'm like, oh, should we foster her? Because her name's Coco. If you're in Houston, she's so sweet. I walked three dogs today because I was only there for an hour. And she's so sweet. I, I'm so biased. This is my... I love her. She sits like a frog, and she's so freaking cute. She's like 40 pounds, she's perfect. <laughs> okay, well, anyway, I'm gonna head home. I'm so hungry right now, which is not good. I did not prepare well. Is are in our pantry. I'm trying to figure out what I wanna eat. I just quickly showered and changed. No really cute outfit. One of my tips is I keep I'm like a big snacker. I mean, I think we all know this by now. But when I'm trying to figure out what I want to eat in my pantry, I just like having something like cherry tomatoes because I'm obsessed with cherry tomatoes. Ever since my childhood, we had so many cherry tomato plants in my house growing up, like growing in the backyard. I just remember eating them like candy. But it's easy for me to just like want to pick up something, whether it's like chips or so if I have something ready to go, like a tomato, I feel like I can more accurately decide what I want because I'm currently eating something. It just kind of helps me a little bit better decide what I actually want. I realized I had this miso glaze cod from Costco. So I think I'm gonna cook one of these. Hello, you're good. So I get my tomatoes, and I have over some couscous. And then I have to eat these Brussels sprouts from the farmer's market. So we are gonna bake these up with the cod. Okay, got the miso cod here. 
and then chopped up some Brussels sprouts, added some avocado oil, and then some of this mushroom umami multi-purpose seasoning, just to like stick with the Asian flavors. And then we yeah, have the wild rice. All right, here's the finished product. We just ended up doing this microwave rice because the black rice was taking so long. So it's from Aldi. And I don't know, that's probably like, what, third of a cup? And then probably a cup of veggies and then one of the little fillets. I'm gonna add some sriracha, cause duh. Add sriracha on everything. There's just a ring at the doorbell. And I think Matt ordered food. Oh, let's see what he got. I told her she had the wrong house, but she just insisted that I take <laughs> What did you get? Wow. What is that? Pan pizza from Donald's actually is good, though. I will give you that. What kind did you get? Whoa, here is dinner. Is this like a Supreme pizza or did you make it up? Supreme? Yum. That looks good. I'm just having a Raton shake, gonna pop a. And we're gonna watch season five of Yellowstone. All right, for dessert, <laughs> we have some mango, I don't even know if these are like mango strawberry freezy bars. We wrapped a fruit roll up around it, like the TikTok trend. It's going viral, but this one has a stick, so it's a little less messy. And listen to the crunch. This is gonna end the night, and then I'm gonna make some hot peppermint tea. Then I'm gonna go to bed, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. You might bleed tea. I will catch y'all in the next one. Bye.